Hello, this is a segment on backyard chickens. We've had them for a couple years and I thought why not do a video on them. Uh, we'll also show you what they look like as they grow from week to week, from week one to week two, all the way to week eight, which is something I tried to find online but I really couldn't find, so I ended up taking the photos of it and we'll show you that in just a little bit. And I'm gonna walk you through the process that we took, how we built our coop, what we put into our coop, what do we do to keep them laying eggs and their care and maintenance. We basically have a coop that is uh, 14 foot by 5 foot wide. Uh, we went with that size because it was just small enough to be able to move it. Right now it's back here under the trees in the shade, uh, but in winter we actually move it up to the house and uh, it's closer to the house, easier to maintain, grab the eggs and such. And yes, we do get eggs in winter in Michigan. We'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. So when we first got them, well, I ordered them online, uh, got a bunch of heritage chickens, got six of them and they were all really great great condition and we started with a brooder and the brooder we had i uh i made it just out of a four by eight sheet of plywood what we did was we closed off half of it for when we first got them and then we uh put the warming light in there brought them in and when you first get them uh <clears throat> they'll just eat poop and sleep and uh but we did a lot of handling with them so that they were um used to us and they got really um, to the point where they uh, wanted to be around us and held and all those types of things. One thing we were surprised by is that when they fall asleep, they just fall asleep. Kind of like this photo. They just look dead. But they're not. They're alive. They're just sleeping. Um, and then one thing I also thought about was it was hard online to find photos of the progression of what they look like as they grow. So the, for the first two months, I took a picture every week. First off in the house, uh, when we were keeping them in the playroom, and then we moved them to the garage, and there's a couple shots outside when we let them play out in the backyard too. Uh, and uh, thought you'd just think that was kind of cool. You can check those out, get a feel for how quickly they grow. So now when it came time to build in our coop, we wanted to make sure that we had a big enough space, a living space for them, that uh, would yield uh, comfort for them in the winter, as well as uh, we could put light in there, um, a lot of different things, feed station in there. We have a light that keeps time, and even though they molt, they go through that whole stage in like um, September, October, what they're doing right now, they don't lay a lot, and um, that's, just, that's just how it is. But then by November, December, they're coming back. We generally get about two dozen a week. Winter, we can get down to like a dozen, it just depends, but we keep the inside of this coop at uh, just under freezing, so around 30 degrees all winter long and with the heater and then we have a, uh, a thermostat that will keep turning the light on and off. And then the second thing we have is an actual white light, an actual light that comes on so that they get a full 12 hours or more, 12-14 hours of light during winter. That also helps them keep laying in the winter as well. So first thing we did was when we started building we realized that we have fox in the area and raccoon so we built out our frame and then we put down um, fencing underneath. So it does have fencing on the bottom so they can't dig in underneath. And ironically, we haven't had anything come for these guys at all, except for the occasional hawk. But they learn when they're out running around in the yard that if a hawk comes, um, they run back to the coop. Um, it's really weird how they just kind of know that. The way that we wanted to do it was to have a, an area that we could actually maintain and do maintenance on the actual coop, all from the back. And that works pretty well. This here is kind of our utility area. And this is where all of the um, electrical comes in, the power, uh, the heat, heat thermostat, those types of things. Works great for winter. Um, we keep some scratch out here too as well to get them back in the coop because they never always want to go right back into the coop. Um, the second place is collecting the eggs, the most important thing. And I got to say, when we first got eggs, uh, it was a really, really big deal. From, from like feeding is really important of what you feed them. And we obviously went with the stuff for the like the small mulch and things for them when they were little. It's very powdery. Um, but then we went on to the actual egg layer um, pellets and they do really, really well on egg layer stuff. And as I said, we're going into our two and a half years with them now and they're still laying and doing great. So this is where we go in and we harvest the eggs. We've had to adjust this. Um, we put, it used to be it used to be three actual coops or three actual uh, laying nests but they would just stand on the edge and poop so then what we did was we changed it and made it into one door and then 
and then two laying stations. Ironically, we have two here. This one is 12 by 12. This one is 12 by 10. They love this one. For some reason, they like the small one. They fight over it. All the eggs generally end up in the actual smaller um, layer. So that was kind of funny. We did two 12 bys and then one 12 by 10 just because of space. And then they end up loving the really small one. Kind of funny. Um, but this is where we collect them. So what we have is the bottom here. We have this clip too. But this helps us for cleaning. What we do is bring up a wheelbarrow right here and then open this up and then we can get to the entire bottom. Right now it's got a lot of new um, chips and things in there. And there's our Lacey there girl. And we're able to feed them, give them water, do all those things right from this space. And you can also see how they can perch on there. A lot of big open space in here. And here's one of our Easter eggers. Hey buddy. We actually gave them a window here uh, for actual real light and that's really important. We can open and close it depending on how cold it gets at night and how hot. And then the other piece is we have this vent that we built in the back here. This vent is really, really important. Uh, meaning, the reason being because in the summer it gets so hot in there, how they always say like hot as a chicken coop. Well, that's really a real thing. So we put this one up here and a lot of the heat's able to escape right here. Uh, you can also see how we have our lights in there and our heating lamp and everything set up. A lot of cobwebs in there right now. We need to do some cleaning. But uh, this thing has been a really, really nice addition as well. Um, so then the main coop area, we have the ladder coming out and then we have a couple roosts. And honestly, they use those roosts. They hang out there in the summer. They'll sleep out here and not even go in. Um, most of them go in, but a couple of them like to sleep in here. One thing I want to mention about was the design. Really happy with the design. It comes up, rain and snow actually stays off it really, really well. And it's able to easy to maintain. When we set it up for winter, we actually put a tarp around two sides of it just to shield them a little bit and give them a little more protection in the winter time. But this design works really great. Uh, there's tons of designs online, but the main thing is that we wanted it mobile, so we made it this size. Let's see if we can get these guys out. Hi guys. All right. Hey, how you doing? Chickens actually love to come out and just roam around in the backyard. And that's really important to give them a little bit of freedom. Seem to lay better and keep they're happier when they're actually able to get out and um, get out and dig on, dig around, eat bugs, that type of stuff. You can see that we have a very low fence. It's only three foot. They have never jumped it. They've never tried to get out of it. One thing is raising them in your backyard when they're really small, letting them run around and play around for short periods of time, like a half hour or whatever. They kind of learn their boundaries. They know where their food is and they're quite happy staying in a safe environment. They want to be safe, so you definitely need to give them a space that's safe. Second thing is, during the day if they're out, we leave that door open, mainly because of hawks and things come around. Predators, they'll book it right in there and go hide, which is a great thing. You want them to have uh, that uh, comfort and protection. All right, so it's time to get them back into the coop, and this is the best trick. We have got scratch here, and you just basically take it over. Come on, guys. And then you go ahead and just toss it in. Come on, little buddy. So that's kind of it on backyard chickens. A lot of fun, a little bit of work. You do have to do your homework and study up on uh, how to build the coop, um, decide whether you want it mobile or not. And it does take some time to build. Our coop cost about $700, so there is an investment. The birds were over $100. Uh, so you do invest in the actual uh, eggs. So it's not like you're getting free eggs, but they are good eggs. Tastes just like a regular store-bought egg. Difference is, you know, the yolk is a little thicker. They're a thicker egg. Um, and what matters is you already know, you really know what's going into them, which is pretty awesome. So. Uh, I would say if you're interested in all in backyard chickens, go for it. You don't have to go for a full six, go for three and you'll end up getting a dozen. Study it up, get some heritage birds uh, so that they, you have a nice variety. We have green eggs, brown eggs, tan eggs, white eggs, and it's pretty awesome. So hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, subscribe or like and uh, look for some more coming from us.